Okay, so this is a video that I'm making more for myself than for my viewers, but if anyone sees this and finds it useful, well, thanks for watching. See, I don't like handling boards like these uh, freehand because I know that static electricity can destroy them. And many people say that it's a myth, but I would rather not take any chances. So, I bought this. Now, it looks like a box of everything. But, no it isn't. It's, it's a casing for the Arduino. Okay, let me just open this bag. Now, it looks like this, and you may... You may say, what the hell, man? Why would you encase it? Uh, you can never see anything and blah, blah, blah. Well, this is actually uh, protective, protective film. This, uh, protective paper, film, whatever, whatever you want to call it, yes. But it's there to protect it. So, let's see how, okay. Peeling this off wasn't easy for me the first time I did it, so I'm gonna cut to the part where I magically peeled everything off, so let's see. And voila, there it is. It is peeled. Now this is pretty simple, uh, although there is uh, one problem that I see with it, and I don't know if you can see this, but this part has a crack on it. I don't think it will jeopardize the structural integrity of the casing, but you know, when I buy something, I, I really, really, really like it to work. So, yeah, is that too much to ask? I'm, I don't know. Now, you see holes on the Arduino. So, whoop. Okay, just try to find, uh, just try to match the holes and I believe, I believe, yep, that the board goes like this, a hole through a hole. Now, next what we do is we, you know, get all the screws out and the way that it's supposed to go in the casing of an Arduino is you're supposed, sorry, let me try to focus this, hold it, will you focus? Yes. You're supposed to put this plastic part on the screw first, yeah, then hold, hold it, hold it, I hope that I don't F it up, then push it through the hole, ah damn, let me see, okay, then push it through the hole, Press it as hard as you can, and then get the lower screw, put the lower screw here, and just take a screwdriver, sorry. It's a little tricky to, to do this while looking, sorry, let me see, does it, is it focused? Yes. While looking through the lens of a camera, but yes, this is it. This is how it's supposed to be done. I had to completely pause the recording because uh, this screw right here was a pain in the ass. Uh, I had to file this part down and I first thought that it was these leads but no it was this plastic part so I had to file it down a little bit now. I will put the rest of the screws and screw in the rest of the chassis. And you can see that this quality was really, really bad when making this Arduino, this Chinese knockoff. Okay, it is assembled. The first part is assembled and it is pretty simple. The second part comes this plastic and it goes in the back. And these pieces, they're two long pieces. They come on the sides and this part 
is the easiest. This is where you match everything up. Okay, hold it. Did I match it? No, I didn't. See, it has to, it has to fall into these holes nicely. Yes, and yes, yes, it looks assembled, but it's not assembled yet. Uh, you need to tighten the nuts and screws. Never forget to tighten your nuts. Never forget. It's what protects you. Okay. There is one unwritten rule in any engineering, and that is when you are tightening anything, you always tighten it in an X pattern. It's easiest like that. And it is assembled. Yeah. If you're smart, you probably would have figured this out on your own, but I'll admit it, I wasn't. I had to look it up on YouTube. So yeah. And why I like it, because it's protected. You can drop it and nothing will happen to it. And um, it's protected from static electricity, ESD, electrostatic discharge. Now these are two Arduinos. This is the one that I have assembled and ordered from China. And this is the one, this is a genuine one. And I have to admit, uh, the machining on this one, actually not the machining, the manufacturing on this one is not that good. I'm sorry. For some reason, it doesn't really fit in this case properly. You can see it bend drastically. While this one, this one does bend, but not that drastic. So, yeah. But, <coughs> do I recommend buying a cheap knockoff? Well, yeah. I bought the, I bought the genuine one just because I was curious, so. Yeah, that is it. I hope you learned something. Thank you.